Um, that, my friends, was a song that y'all probably already have heard. It's called Manifesto of a Scorn Bitch. I pre I I I uploaded this song um a while back. I think months. Two months ago, I think. I'm not good at time, but whatever. Um, I uploaded it. And it was supposed to go for... Hold on, let me text. Y'all know this is... Damn. No! That's not what I said. But yeah, I uploaded it um a while back. And... um. It was supposed to go for an album that I was working on, but I never got around to doing it because um, my computer started acting a damn fool, and so I was stuck with not having the complete songs for the album called Manifest Over Scorn Bitch, and I didn't wasn't able to complete them. So I, I started thinking and. I, you know, I started thinking to myself, why hold all these tracks in? I got all this music that I want people to hear. You know, some of the songs that are on this new album, which is called First Kind. Um, and it's the first time for a lot of things. Um, a first time, a lot of these songs that are on this um, album that will be heard from people, it'll be the first time. Um, it's the first time that I do a complete album and release it. It's the first time that I'm going into this with no expectations whatsoever. Um, the first time I'm going into this with just pure um, green. If you, <laughs> green. Uh, hence the shirt. Um, you know, this album is a, smorgas a smorgasbord of different genres, different styles. Um, and it's no set... Um, storyline here um you know if it, it it's when i was playing the songs back in order one through 15 it sounded like a storyline but in essence i don't think it is but you know if you think it's a storyline then great um you know the track listing manifesto of scoring bitch which is the intro of the album is actually like i said the song was supposed to be on my first first album was supposed going to be called Man of Up Scoring Bitch. And that basically goes into the whole album. It, you know, the song talks about, um, <laughs> the song talks about a little bit of my life. Um, it talks about certain issues that people deal with, you know, people judging them, people not seeing them for who they are, people, you know, who have done something to you and just don't want to admit it. So basically that song is, that's how that song goes. And then it's really bluesy. Um, and I love my voice on it. I love the S. Okay, I'll say that. I said this about all my songs, but this is one of my favorites. Um, then we have Love Ya, which is just a song for all you lovebirds out there. Uh, my first attempt on this album of, at rapping. Um, <laughs> I don't rap, but this was my first attempt. And I, I think I did pretty good. It's... Um, You know, this song is basically, you know, if you have a significant other and he or she, um, you know, if you feel close, closely connected to this person, this song is perfect for you. Uh, I've never been in a relationship, but this is something I would love to feel, basically. Then we got My Story, Life Untold. The song, basically, is kind of a bio song it goes it, it talks about a certain event that happened in my life um 
about my molestation at a young age by someone my age. And the thing with this song is that it, it, it really took a lot out of me to record because I was being told that me being molested by someone of my same age is not molestation. And in essence, it is. You know, if you are un unwilling to do it and you're just brought into it and intimidated and manipulated, then, you know, in my in my eyes, it is molestation. This song talks about the event. It doesn't go in depth, but it talks about it. And I think it needs, the subject needs to be talked about and it does not need to be shamed upon. If you are molested, say something. Don't hold it in. You know what I'm saying? Let it out. Then we have I Could Care Less. <laughs> it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. Uh, My Life Can't Take Away, which is another song that I did. And it talks about how everything that I am, you can never take away from me. You can do whatever you want in life. You can do whatever you want to me, but you can never, ever take away what is me. And that's what this song is about. Love, I mean, Live For You explains itself. It's an upbeat tempo song. Um, Quite like I Could Care Less and My Life. No. Yeah, no. It's quite like I Could Care Less. Live For You is an upbeat song. It, you know, um... It's basically telling you to live live for you. Fuck everybody else. Just live for you. Fuck society. Fuck what everyone thinks. Just live for you, baby. Basically. Um, Dirty Bitch. <laughs> this song right here. Um, I recorded this. It's inspired by a lot of things. One, it's a it's another upbeat, very upbeat song. Um, hip hop almost, and it's another attempt at rapping. <laughs> um, I was inspired by um, Black Eyed Peas' "Dirty Bit," hence "Dirty Bitch," because me and my friend thought it was dirty. Me and my friend thought the unedited version was "Dirty Bitch," and I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do it." And not only that, it was also around the time when I started having sex, and people were telling me, you know, this and that, and you're dirty and all this. I'm just like, "Hey, I'm a dirty bitch, ho." Um, it's an upbeat song. It's a hip hop song, like I said. I Am Priceless. It basically is a funk disco song that it just speaks. When you hear it, it's me, basically. It's everything that I am, basically. Snake Seducer is another up-tempo song that talks about a person's member and how you seduce that bitch. And I also throw a hint at one of my favorite porn stars, Trap Boy. I hope he likes it. <laughs> hope he likes it. Um, then we got No Fucks Are Given. Um, let me see if we can play this song for y'all. My mama was rich, neither was my papa. All my friends had money, but at least that's never seen. What does it make me? It doesn't make me less a traitor. I'm just a man who don't like me. Um, basically, it's another song about self-empowerment. <laughs> it talks about, um, how, you know, my life, this whole album is my life, basically. Hell, Mary J. Blige, how you doing, baby? <laughs> this album is my life, actually. It talks about it a lot. I'm starting to rethink it. It is. Um, This Love Is A Lie is a song, an R&B, um, hip-hop song that I wrote and produced, all these songs I wrote and produced, um, it talks about how a relationship is just horrible, like, at the end of the relationship, when you break up with your significant other, you basically feel that this love, this whole fucking relationship was a lie, it was a fucking lie, and how you're just done with it, and you don't give a fuck anymore, you're done with it, it's over, finito, somber truth, 
is another song about my life. Um, and it's a really hip hop inspired type song as well. And it just basically um, gives you another insight in my life. Um, love, I hate you. I was actually, I actually wrote this song after I had a conversation with, um, one of my associates, besties, road dog, Ray, um, off Facebook in New York, NYC, stand the fuck up. Um, <laughs> and, um, it's a very upbeat techno dance pop song. Uh, it basically comes on some, you know, love, I hate you. The love being the person. Um, then we got Dime Diva Bitch. Goes all, goes out to all my chicks and dudes who do your fucking thug this or who don't give a fuck. You a Dime Diva Bitch, and that's all that's to it. You do what you gotta do for you. Fuck everybody else. And the last song is I Ain't Got No Tack. It's basically, <laughs> this song was a mess. This is my last rap attempt. And this song was basically done out of pure boredom <laughs> and i said i throw it on i throw it in there's fun it's a crazy ass track i am um, i embodied Nicki minaj but the beat is um um et i think let me see yes et yes et uh and i just rapped over it and that's basically all 15 songs and the first single off of it, which i will be releasing tonight and i will release the album tomorrow the first song off of it will be This Love is a Lie. The reason why I chose that is because it's really a, um, a really great track. It reminds me also of Janet Jackson's um, What About. What about the times you sit in my face? What about the times you said no one would want me? What about all the shit you done to me? What about that? What about that? And that's basically, I got that inspiration from her as well. So that's first time, and um, I'll be releasing that tonight. And I hope you all enjoy it and download it. And, you know, um, when you download it, tell me what you think. You know, tell me what you think. Um, the, the warning, big ass warning tracks are not mixed, they're not done in a professional studio, they're done off my computer. And it's just my love for music. And, you know, it's a smorgasbord, like I said, of different genres, different topics, but they all coincide together somehow, some way. So much love. Good night. Kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah.